Hmm. Yep. She's dead. Hello everyone and welcome back to Frank vs. Evil. Today we are playing Autopsy Simulator. I played the Mortician's Assistant on this channel a really long time ago and I thought that game was pretty fun, so we're gonna give this one a try too. Office of the Medical Examiner, Beatsville. Dr. Jack Hanman is speaking. How can I help you? Good evening, this is Kate Brooks. I'm not sure if you remember me. A few weeks ago we talked about an article I'm working on. It's about your wife. I dropped by last Friday to speak to you, but you weren't working at the time. <laughs> I asked the security guard to pass on a note for me. I would like us to discuss the topic of- I thought I had made it painfully obvious for the last time. No, please don't call me again and stop inquiring about my wife. Damn, he told them. I'm not in the best frame of mind to record a lecture for my students now. I'm feeling completely broken. Just like me every single day. It's kind of giving me like uh, Max Payne vibes with the guy's voice. Uh, check the bathroom for your pills. Well, uh, graphically, the game looks awesome. A little bit of lag there as I said that, but it's okay. Here's the bathroom. This is a horror game bathroom if I've ever seen okay. one. Even the mirror is broken. To pull myself together. Oh, I need some Tylenol, man. I've already taken my pills. Ah, it's fine. Take some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking to overdose. <laughs> Dude, someone's, someone's gonna walk in the bathroom just to be hovering over this uh, bottle of pills going, to set the camera first. Take the camera from the storage room. Laboratory? Alright, so this is the room with the dead bodies. So that is not the storage room. Maybe the storage room's over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. This place is starting to look like a horror. Now remember, Jack. Don't forget to hit the record button this time. <laughs> oh, we got a little breaker switch in here. That That's definitely going to come into play later. Guarantee the lights are going to go out in a horror game. Prepare to record a lecture. Got it. Hopefully the new tripod is going to hold up. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm glad that this game has censored mode, so we won't be looking at any genitals today, thankfully. Because this video would be uh, unmonetized real quick. In fact, it probably still won't get monetized. No, I just have to get everything in frame. Hmm. This is a real uh, great this angle of the dangle there, November buddy. 20th, 1991. Time, 8.43 p.m. Dude, that camera's a tank. The University of Missouri. This autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the autopsy room. Today, you will have the dubious pleasure of following a full autopsy, step by step. For those of you who have already performed your first autopsy, this will refresh your basic knowledge. In turn, for those whose knowledge is only theoretical, I just... let's start. <laughs> In turn, I just... I just start, you know? I just cut off that dialogue entirely, sorry. Uh, tell students what is important in the profession. Okay. Always wear an apron, mask, and gloves. Always. Are a must you gotta be sanitary, and dude. in case of sharp accidents, it's worth having disinfectants at hand. It's true that you won't get ptomaine poisoning straight away, but if your liver or kidney aren't doing well, you may end up with diarrhea. Ah, nice. Is that how you spell diarrhea? I've never seen the word diarrhea actually written out before. Now, on to the police folder. I kind of that appreciate- contain all sorts of pertinent information as to who the deceased might be and what potentially happened to them. So, okay. let's take a closer look, shall we? I kind of appreciate him talking to himself because it's helpful to me, but my God, this guy does not shut the hell up. <laughs> I feel like I'm just sitting here making a YouTube video with this guy's balls. Like, all right, kids, welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do you like violence? Do you want to watch me stick nine inch nails through each one of this guy's eyelids? Look through the information provided in the police folder. Where the fuck is the police folder? Is that even in this room? Oh, it's right. It's literally right here. Okay. All this stuff's blurred out too. That's pretty cool. The deceased's name is Tobias hmm. Chambers, locally known as Old Toby. Homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. Uh, did I skip the dialogue by accident? Well, anyway, the guy's got a $50 coupon to Denny's. No one's gonna care if that goes missing. The deceased was found on the outskirts of a parking lot at a gas station, where he often begged and persistently offered drivers to wash their car windows. That is 100% a Wawa, dude. This guy choked on a Wawa hot dog and died in the parking lot. It's worth remembering the context around the scene of a death. This allows you to better interpret any traces found on the body. I shouldn't start the procedure without gloves. 
Oh, yes. I almost forgot the most important thing. Where are the gloves? Are these the gloves? These look like gloves. They're just sitting out here on a table. Shouldn't they be like in one of those little dispensary things? Whatever. Now it's our turn to take some pictures for our files. If I can just remember where I left the camera. Um, it's in here somewhere. Aha! <laughs> there you are. Wow. I knew it was here somewhere. First try, dude. We got a Polaroid camera. Okay. So we can zoom in and out. There we go. Nice. That's going well, right up on the fridge. On to the next step. Looking for traces. Take your time. Look at the corpse from different sides. Okay, so this from is what I thought we were going to do originally. Up close and from a distance. You're looking for anything out of the ordinary. He's got some scratch marks on his arm. I can't take a picture of that. So he looks like he might have had an appendectomy, which is actually that's way lower. That's that's a little high for an epic ep ep words. Take the picture. Oh, I gotta zoom. I gotta zoom in first. Okay. Boiler healed wound. Looks old. I'll take a closer look later. All right. Oh, we scraped his knee. Yeah, it's getting a nice photo of the dogs. Some wounds in the feet and signs of frostbite. Ew. Probably because the subject's shoes were too small. Dude, buy some shoes that fit you, man. Okay. All right. What else we got? <laughs> Here we go. This is what. <laughs> They're gonna be like, yeah, we were looking through the autopsy report. Why'd you take a zoomed-in picture of his ball sack? Oh, he's got some black fingertips. I guess that's normal, Burned though. hands, worn out by physical work, and yeah. frostbite. Oh, it's frostbite. Never mind, it's not normal. I thought maybe he was just getting a little moldy. Ew. Oh, yeah, there's a big gash in his head. Yeah, get a nice zoom that's in of that. something interesting. It will be necessary to check whether this injury was severe enough to cause damage to the brain. Okay, so is that... We will check which of our initial observations will be worthy of further consideration. But before we get to that, I need to write down some basic data. Okay, we can put the pictures up. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Why did you put so many exclamation marks? Hey! Like, yeah, you got your feet over here, you got your general, here's a hand, uh, there's a little old wound on the stomach, and also there's the head! <laughs> like, relax, man, chill out. What am I doing? Uh, perform the autopsy, yeah, that might be important. Let's grab my tools. All right, so tools is tab. Magnifying glass. Which spot first? Let's take a look at that, that wound. Like burn mark. No doubt painful, but it's not pertinent for this case. Okie dokie. Take a look at that hand. Here we can see frostbite on the fingertips. We can tell by the characteristic skin color. Looks like the man died from fingering an ice cream cone in the Wawa parking lot. This happens all the time. The appearance indicates the intravital nature of the wound. Add alcohol, which I can clearly smell. And this was an accident just waiting to happen. All right, and last thing is, let's take a look at them tookies. Ew, I don't want to look at this, man. Frostbite, Why am I playing this? Blisters. Old Toby had been wearing shoes too small for him for a very long time. That's if he wore any at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just interrupts his own dialogue and just, like, pukes on this guy's feet. Okay, well, according to my medical expertise as a pathologist practitioner, I would say that this man was fingering a snow cone in the Wawa parking lot with another man bashed him over the head with another snow cone. He then proceeded to take his kidneys and put on shoes that didn't fit him anymore. This was murder. <laughs> uh, perform the rigor mortis exam examination. Why did I say it like that? Ew, dude. Yep. That's an arb. I'm not qualified for this job. I'm just saying right now, dude, I'm not qualified. Head trauma seems the most promising, so we'll start there. For oh, this, no. I need an oscillating saw. Oh, we're cutting the this freaking scalp open. Here. Oh, I gotta keep it in the middle. Okay. Last thing I want to do is hurt the guy, you know? There we go. Let's take a look at that cranium there, failure. The skin and the top of the skull. It's very jiggly. Looks like your brain has a dick and balls on it. That's the problem. Ew, it's so jiggly, dude. Put it away. Dissect the brain at the cutting board, dude. Removing the head or destroying the brain. I'm sorry, is there a donut over there? It's really hard to pay attention when there's a box of donuts in the room. Oh my god, dude. I'm just sawing a brain in so half. So far, so good. The hematoma seems to have had no effect on the brain. For the next step of the autopsy, we're going to preheat the oven to 425 and stick the brain in there. While the brain's in there, we're going to saute some portobello mushrooms on the side with some garlic powder and some salt. Uh, here comes the, the fun part. Should be in the shape of a letter Y. Can we mix it up every once in a while and make, like, a different letter? Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, it's so realistic. Now, we need to remove the ribs. We'll need the loppers for this. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta use my trusty loppers. Oh, wow, that was easy. Now's a good time to collect some samples. Yeah, let's get some specifically three heart from the eye, fluid. the heart. Five milliliters from the left ventricle should do it. Okay. Oh, in the eye too, man. Atrius Come on. Analysis is very useful in indicating long-term alcohol abuse. 
And then one over here. Left on the bladder, we trot about 10 milliliters of fluid. Oh my gosh. What does he want me to do? Check the Please notebook? excuse me while I run and fetch it. Sorry, it's hard to focus because this guy talks literally nonstop. And that's what I do in my YouTube videos, to be entertaining. Um, retrieve the notebook from the office with the necessary values to run centrifuge. That's the bathroom. Is it in here? No. Oh, it's literally right here on the corner. <laughs> it's literally right this there. This thing is covered in stains. I should check this out under the microscope sometime. Um, uh, what the hell? Awful. It would be good to finally repair the coffee machine. Imagine pouring a cup of coffee at your coffee maker and it turns out green, and instead of dumping it down the sink, you just walk it all the way to your desk and leave it there. Like, is this guy actually gonna drink this shit? All right, well, we got the notebook, so we can go back in there now. So I'm assuming scary shit is gonna happen, like random jump scares and stuff, and it's gonna get crazier and crazier as the game progresses. Uh, presence of alcohol in the blood, 15 minutes for 70%. You don't want to overcook it, all right? Okay, let's roll. Boom, baby. Uh, start. Bingo, bango, bongo. This is... Oh, shit. The fuses again. I knew the power was gonna go out, dude. Oh! W where were we? Oh, yes. The blood alcohol concentration. Okay. I thought, th I thought the power was gonna go out, and I thought I was gonna have to go do the breaker thing. There was definitely a dude standing in that window for, like, a split second. Let's see what we've got here. Everything's separated as it should. Oh, well. Our lab is closed until tomorrow after the last... Uh... Incident. However, considering that Toby's favorite eau de parfum appears to be ethanol, I'm guessing the results won't surprise me at all. Okay, well that's good that the lab's closed. Less work we gotta do. Now let's take a closer look at the stomach. Alright, this that's is the stomach. Normal, healthy. Pink color. Alright. The stomach has no major external damage. Okay. I was wondering if I was going to actually cut it open and inspect inside. Cut it open and check inside. Nice. That's that's what I want to do. When I watch YouTube videos, whoops, wrong button. Like when I'm watching Game Grumps, dude, that's usually when I'm eating dinner. So if you guys are eating dinner and watching my videos, I'm sorry. We open the stomach along the greater curvature from the heart to the pyloric end. This is so tedious. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm playing Operation. Like if I hit one of those lines, it's going to go. Bzz! Come on, man. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Mmm, looks like he was eating sand. At first glance, the trachea looks normal. Dude, I don't want to cut his trachea open, man. We must hold the scalpel as we would a pen. I did it. I didn't think I was going to be slicing a trachea open when I woke up this morning. Return to the autopsy. All right. Based on the report and preliminary documentation, it's safe to assume that the deceased passed out after consumption of alcohol and then fell asleep on his back. I mean, there was my snow cone theory, too. I'm just saying. It could also be right. Um, yeah, we marked it off as an accident. Oh, we gotta write a signature at the bottom. Oh, do I actually have to sign? The mystery is solved. But for us, this is not the end. First, the dead body needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> Imagine all that, like, intriguing hard work, and it's just like the medical examiner just puts a dick where the signature is. Oh, for man. This, we will need to close the body and grab the needle. That's First, fucked up. we unroll the skin flaps. Unroll the skin flaps, and nice. I'm using the baseball stitch technique. This stitching method is very strong. Let's play ball. Place the body into the fridge and close it. How do I do that? Oh, I just click on him, it does all the work for me. Why is there a circle on his junk? Why? God, I'm tired. Okay. <sighs> I'll drop these samples off at the lab on the way to the bar. Cool, I got an achievement. Frozen meat. Place a body in the fridge. Oh, that was it. So we completed the prologue. This game is like four hours, but I'm not going to let it go on for that long. We'll probably play it for like an hour, hour and a half max. Oh, I thought that was a loading screen. What's behind curtain number one? Ah, shit. That is a skeleton, and now he's crying blood. There's a skull. Crying blood. We're in a sea of skulls. It's like Sea of Thieves, but with skulls. I'm sorry. What is happening, dude? What the hell is happening? There's a gnat in here. Are you kidding me? All right, I get it. They're smothering me. Sorry. Sorry, skulls. I have an email. You're not boring me. Chapter number one. Oh, shit. I never turned the oven off. My brain's going to be overcooked. What the hell? There's a plate of spaghetti on the floor. Christ. Uh, what a 
dream. Dude sleeping with some beer on the floor and spaghetti. Alarm clock? Time flies. And probably doesn't have to get up to work. <laughs> we got a little box here. Ooh. It's always good to have something for a rainy day. Damn, dude, we got like over a thousand dollars just chilling here. A pill a day keeps the defective jack away. Dude, this game looks awesome. Like, these graphics are really good. It's a shame these won't help with my hangover. Always mix pills with alcohol. It's a great idea. Uh, get a wriggle on. Fucking phone. Get a what? Get a wriggle on? Also, this guy has the same attitude as me. Anytime someone calls me, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, okay. I know I'm late. I'll be there soon. It's not like the dead are impatient. Jack, no. Uh, Alice? Who, who is this? It's me. I'm stuck in Wonderland. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't recognize you. I thought... Uh, I thought it was work calling. It's okay. I hate it when work calls me at home, too. <laughs> How is everything? We haven't talked since... Well, I made a sauteed well, brain with some portobello mushrooms last night. <laughs> and there are bad days. What can I say? I'm losing my at shit. At least I can hide away at work. Well, you always were the most comfortable in the dissecting room. Listen, I have an unusual request. Can you send me a picture of your ass, please? Do you have any sure pictures thing. of Alice? Maybe one where the two of us are together? I'd love to have something to remind me of her. I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll look through her things. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you with this. Well, this can't be easy for you. Oh, it's really easy. My wife's dead and it's okay. I'm happy. Anyway, gotta go. Not to cry. I'm not gonna cry. You're crying. Oh, do you have my address? Um, not on hand. You'd best remind me again. 292 Browning Lane, apartment 432, Johnson City, New York. One three seven nine zero. Got it. Thanks. You didn't even write it down. What do you mean? Got it. What was it? Browning Lane or something? Dude, how the fuck is he gonna remember that address? Dude, this guy's been fucking strung out playing heroin hero. Dude, he's got two pizzas in the fridge and he's got two on the counter as well. This game's extremely relatable. The view isn't spectacular, but why does that car look familiar? There's a car out there? Why does that look familiar? Is it a DeLorean? Dude has a dead picture of his dog on the fridge. <laughs> like what? Like what is that dude? It's like a weird dog alien hybrid. Is it just the way I'm looking at it that looks weird or is that a weird picture? Okay, we need to find a photo of Alice and an envelope to send to Charlotte right now. Oh, here we go. I was looking around the apartment for so long I had no idea there was a little bottom drawer there. Alice and Charlotte in Amsterdam. Oh, they met each other for a while because they're like literally like 10 years old summer 1975 it's hard to believe they've known each other for so long i just said that that looks really big for an envelope doesn't it it's like massive okay time to go to work i'm seriously late all right we'll send that to uh her post the letter in the mailbox i should grab some coffee and aspirin on the way do you really think you need coffee and aspirin together it's taking These a long time tubes are brutal whoa hoochie mama uh is that appropriate? I feel like that's not appropriate. That thing. All right. Well, I sincerely hope that thing does not exist for real because that's horrifying. Oh God, there's just a like hopscotch leading to a baby stroller down this hallway. I'm good. I don't want that thing playing hopscotch with my ass. All right, this has to be the way out. Wow. I, I wasn't expecting you to be able to go outside in this game. I was looking outside the windows in the apartment and I was like, damn, this looks good. Also, is that the Breaking Bad RV? There's no bullet holes in the door. So that, that car I saw outside the window, a little sus, a little sussy. Also, I love that truck. That's a really nice truck. Ah, uh, here we go. I hope this helps, Charlotte. Uh, okay, all done here. Time to go. Huh? What just happened? Did someone just like drop a jar of pennies and then run away and then I got hurt somehow? I, I don't know what just happened. Let's get in the car and go. Ugh, damn, I forgot my jacket. It's all right. I'll jack it when I get there. <sighs> nice and fresh. At least it's peaceful here. This looks like a house, dude. I don't like the fact that it has a garage. It makes it look like a home. Good evening, Mr. Ridley. Mr. Ridley. Hmm. The timesheet, Hammond. Remember to sign in? Do I have to sign in? Just go to the office. I guess I don't have to sign in. 
Okay. Some corpses have more personality than this guy. Oh, this is not my office. This is the kitchen. Here we go. Christ. Who leaves the window open in the middle of November? <sighs> so I, I was literally looking at that window and thinking I want to close that immediately before he even said anything. I played so many horror games, dude. Uh, what's up with the cigarettes? I don't understand why he can't just smoke outside. Yeah, come on, man. <sighs> Due to a lack of preparation, this time the lecture will be improvised. Check your voicemail. I'm about to check out that freaking muffin, dude. Hi, Jack. I dropped by a little early today. I left the body with Ridley in the corridor. He wasn't sitting in the locker then, so maybe he'll even throw him into the room. <laughs> well, <clears throat> how are you doing? Mom always said not to accept sweets from strangers. Sorry, uh, I wasn't talking to you. Like how he said, how are you doing in the voicemail? Birthday. Like, I'm gonna answer. <sighs> I actually forgot it was today. Oh, today's my birthday? muffins like these every birthday. <clears throat> nice, dude. A treat for later. I always crave something sweet after a section. Well, look, the laboratory's open today. I can't wait to work in the lab. Real hyped about that. Oh, gosh. I don't want to do this, man. Uh, put put on the apron hanging in the dissecting room. Here we go. Ah oh, man, <laughs> I remember you. Hey ma'am, how are you? You were on that talent show. What was your name again? Find some protective gloves. Oh yes. Don't want to forget the gloves. I need to order another batch of these. I've got to remember to do that later. Okay, <laughs> set up the camcorder the to point. document the autopsy. Do you have to document all autopsies? He said he remembers her like she's famous or something. Like is this for... Yeah, this is a lecture. That's kind of weird, recording a celebrity's autopsy. Oh, this is her. Uh, yes, Samantha Barker. Ah, Bob Barker's daughter. Come on down. Do -do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. Who put their coffee down on this, by the way? Like, come on, guys. Can we keep it a little more professional? During the interrogation, a friend of the deceased admitted that Samantha never got to grips with the sudden fame that came after winning such a high-profile talent show. <laughs> she, she won, like, a high school talent show and then, like, od <laughs> I'm just saying that based on this picture down here. And she looks like a teenager. This has overdose written all over it. When questioned, friends admitted that Samantha's last days this is the devs losing daughter. contact seemed extremely happy and relaxed. She also quit drinking alcohol and mentioned something about rehab. The friend also admits that there was no indication of an impending tragedy. Okay, so I think that was everything that we have. I wonder if these are real people that they put well, in the game, like their let's friends. Let's see what's set up this matter. As you can Prepare see, the body. the body is fully clothed. Remove the clothes. I guarantee that over time it will cease being embarrassing for you. I don't think they care that you're taking naked pictures of them considering they're fucking dead, Jimmy. How do I pull the camera out? F. Take a photo of the deceased. All right, I'm just gonna take a nice old photo right here. <laughs> this is the worst angle of all time. All right, let's get that top-down picture. And now, any suspicious-looking marks or wounds? Any suspicious marks? I mean, dude, there's like freaking mold growing on her stomach to start with. Also, her hand looks really gross. So let's get a picture of the hand. Yes, I've seen this many times. But yeah, what is it? Just gross hand syndrome? Make sure we get some of these burnt tookies for the album. <laughs> well, well. Someone There's overcooked those dogs. Left them on the grill for too long. Ew, I don't like the way the guy said that. He's like, oh, well, well, well. These will make a great addition to my weird feet collection. All right, get the neck. Interesting. Very uneven. We need to investigate this. Yep, she definitely got choked out, dude. I still need to get one more picture. Is it the knees? the legs because that looks really fucking gross i already got the feet well uh his arm looks kind of kind of grody no it's not the arm ah the armpit yeah that armpit looks nasty dude Ewy. boom 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 all right got all the pictures up here let's perform the autopsy can't wait to do this what's going on with that weird stomach thing such Bruises are caused by either yeah. a very this game's so heavy gross, blow dude. or by some internal issues. Okay. <sighs> the number Armpit. of bruises suggests that there may have been some kind of tussle. Yeah, something real tussly going on here. Some furrows have imprinted more strongly, others less. I'm so glad this game has like a censored mode, dude, because this video would be really annoying to edit. I probably would have just scrapped this entire video. Look at her, <laughs> look at her face with the magnifying glass. She's like, yeah. 
I look carefully at the whole body. UV rays will reveal any traces. Hmm. Yep. She's dead. All right. The well. Left hand seems to be fine. No marks. Oh, well, nothing to surprise us here. Okay. Now, gently, we take the deceased by the hand. Oh. I was ready to cut her open already. Can we check for rigor mortis. I forgot to check for the rigor mortis. I like these, like, it's almost like you're playing a mini game, you know? It's like, oh, keep the little bar inside the box. Oh, I fucked that up. Again, Ta -da. the hand falls freely. After yesterday, you should know what this means. And I proceed to deflect the skin flaps. Compared with yesterday's body, the deceased has only trace of now for the ribs. What Dude, I am already here? an expert at this shit. Are you kidding me? Or rather, Smoker. Well, pinch, pinch. A little pinch, pinch. I will take samples for toxicological tests to determine the alcohol content in the body. <clears throat> I just need my syringe. Okie dokie. I'm glad this guy's telling me everything I need to do. She probably OD'd, dude. I'm well calling done. it now. I mean, I'll look at those lungs. transfer these to the centrifuge. Classic druggy. She won America's Got Talent and got carried away. 15... 70... I'm starting the centrifuge. Let's see what results come out. Fucking hell! Uh, Ridley! Mr. Oh. Ridley! Oh no. Uh, where is he? The fuses need resetting. Yeah, Fuck what is it. that guy doing up there, man? He's just myself. sitting there? Sitting on his I swear ass? there was a flashlight in here. Was it this room? Uh, whatever. I know where the switches are anyway. First the okay. right, and then the left. Okay, I'm glad you said that out loud, because I would not have guessed that. And voila. Nice. Uh, restore the electricity. Every time I get an achievement, I'm so happy, dude. What? The hell was that noise? Someone banging on the window, dude? Now all the scary stuff started to happen, man. What the? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. That door just slammed in my I face? Work in peace. We're not gonna talk about that? Okay. That was really freaking weird. Jack oh, dude, Hammond I'm still wearing speaking. the gloves? Easy. Why so Ew. Rude? Take Steve? the gloves off. <sighs> Sorry, man. This place is falling apart, and Ridley won't even lift a finger to help. You just can't work here. Did the centrifuge trip the fuses again? Yeah, eventually everything's gonna go up in smoke. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It's a free cremation with your autopsy. Jesus, stop it. That shit pisses me off. Okay, sorry, Jack. Anyway, I'm calling to ask how the autopsy's going. Soon there'll be journalists snipping around for info, so we best be ready. I'll whiz through this in a couple of hours. It doesn't look like a complicated case to me. More of a formality. The report will be available in the morning. Sounds great. Thanks. Phew! How's your head? Well, my head seems better than yours. On the way to what? Holy fuck! Jack, turn on the radio! What? What's happening? Quiet! A three-car police convoy was involved in an accident near Pete's Bay Bridge while transporting prisoners to Orleans Parish Prison. Where's the radio at? the even moment, at? we do not know the exact number of victims or whether any of the convicts escaped. However, the scale of the accident indicates a large number of victims, possibly I even fatal ones. I guess this is his ones. radio on the phone. Police are on their way to investigate the incident and secure the area. We know that the injured prisoners are on death row. The police were to transport them to their execution, which was to take place tomorrow morning. Many of them are very dangerous criminals. We will report on the matter on an ongoing basis, so stay tuned with us. <laughs> What was, um, Stephen, was Red Pete one of the passengers? Red he was, Pete? wasn't he? What if he survived? Jack, I have to go. They want me on site. What if he survived? I gotta go. Talk to you later, okay? Dude, Red Fuck. Pete? Who the hell's Red Pete? Calm down, Jack. Maybe later. <laughs> I like clicked on the muffin during his dialogue. Good, check the bathroom for your pills. I'm just saying Red Pete is like the most unintimidating name of all time. <laughs> it's really gross that I'm still wearing the gloves doing all of this. I'm just saying. It's like the HIV what? speed run. What was that? Hello? Is this dude still here? I'll collect the samples in a second. Oh, he's not. Lovely. All right, let's go collect the samples from the centrifuge rotor real quick. And, uh, 
act like all of that didn't happen. <sighs> Technical break. At least I know I can pursue <laughs> Still a recording. As a janitor if I, I forgot to. I was recording, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking hell! <clears throat> Part of my fridge there, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I forgot, this isn't going up on YouTube. This is just going in front of an All audience. Right. Let's see if we were able to get anything out of this piece of crap. Oh, yeah, there we go. And miraculously, yes. Cool. The samples did spin. I'll transfer them to the chromograph in the lab. Oh, we're actually going into the lab now. Okay. Take the pipette and set it to drain five milliliters of fluid. Now oh, my God. We're actually. Five milliliters. We're really doing some shit here, huh? All right, there's five. Alrighty. Action. Dude, this is insane. And the next. Okay. Sorry, bear with me. I'm getting down the uh, controls. Oh, we're doing 10 milliliters this time. Alright, 10. Boom. Should we, like, use a different thing? Or is it still supposed to be the same? I fucked Five that up. More. I, I messed that up, but it still worked. It's fine. I feel like we should change the pipette. Pi pipette? How do you say it? I don't know how to say it. Enter chroma what? Cr chromatograph? I have no idea what I'm doing, Let's dude. Let's see what we have here. All right, we got a CVS receipt. It just keeps going. That's going to be about tree fitty. Check the receipt. The results indicate that the deceased did consume alcohol shortly before her death. However... This is not an amount that could cause poisoning leading to death. Just slight inebriation. Okay. I can return to the body and continue the rest of the examination. Dude, this game is so in-depth. I can't believe how, like, accurate this stuff is. This is insane. At least I think it's accurate. I don't know. At a glance, we can see signs of a heart attack. <laughs> oh, God, another heart attack. Ah, oh, it's gonna get me. <laughs> the deceased is definitely too young to have a heart attack due to natural causes. The liver is enlarged, not from alcohol poisoning, and the heart looks like it has collapsed. So, I guess we need to go to the centrifuge and check for these barbiturates. We close the centrifuge and pray that it doesn't trip anything again. I know, I know. We close the centrifuge and Red P comes in here and takes our fucking donuts, man. So! It looks like our luck is in. How's it going? Oh, that was fast. That was the fastest 10 minutes of my life. Nice. We can take the samples to the lab now. Yeah. I wonder how she was able to get hold of these drugs. Dude, you can get drugs in the back of Burger King, man. Are you kidding me? BK, come and get drugs. All right, so we need six milliliters on this puppy. Sorry, this this gameplay is not exactly intriguing. The tests show that the collected blood contained enough barbiturates to cause cardiopulmonary collapse. The question now is whether it was an accident or a deliberate act. I'm proceeding to examine the stomach. This is my least favorite part. It's not even that it's hard, it's just... This whole game is just extremely tedious. This feels like a horror game that is a chore, but also, I mean, it is called Autopsy Simulator, so I don't know what the hell I was expecting. All right, come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Free drugs. The direct cause of death was probably an overdose. Is that, is that her pancreas? the rest of the organs, and then the nervous system. We'll see how significant the, the deceased's trachea is. No lungs are normal. No lesion. The deceased's intestine is normal. Dude, I just clicked on it all. It's like, normal. Abdominal cavity check. What about her brain? We can check the brain. Ah, I was gonna say it. I mean, I did say it. I wow, dude. She got a haircut in like literally five seconds. I'm just saying, next time I want a haircut, I'm going to a mortician. Oh my god, dude. Next thing you want to do is grab the the brain and spin it like crazy. Let's go preheat the oven to 425, saute some more portobello mushrooms, and cook this baby. I'm gonna eat brain tonight, baby. I'm gonna eat that, and I'm gonna get more smarter. As expected, the deceased's brain is in excellent condition. No discoloration or changes due to hypoxia. There is still the matter of the marks on the neck. They look superficial, but who knows? Maybe the spinal cord has been severed. I need goggles and a saber saw. I think the goggles were in the desk drawer. I might be thinking of the wrong, the wrong room. Also, God, that muffin looks awesome. This video is dragging on for a long time, so I'm just saying, after we're done this one, we'll uh, we'll cut it. Oh, uh, there's the goggles right there. I walked right by them. Alice. What? I'm looking forward to this <clears throat> muffin. Um, saw. I need saw. Fuck. I don't see it here. Go ask really where the basement key is. Basement key? I don't want to go in the basement, man. Especially with freaking red eyes white dragon out there. What's his name? 
Red, Mr. Red Ridley, Pete. I need a key to the basement. It's in the social room. Why is the key lying at the... Uh, never mind. Thank you. Hey, Hammond. Did you hear about the convoy? Well, maybe you'll get a chance to relive your glory. Red Pete on the loose. Catch Red Pete again, huh? <laughs> Let's hope there won't be a need for that. Did he kill my wife? Did Red Pete kill my wife? Because I'm just saying, that's not an appropriate joke to be making, dude. Also, ugh, I hope that's not the social room. If only he could put that much enthusiasm into Why do we work. call it the social room? Just call I it the break room, dude. Searching through this rubbish is more pathogenic than working with... Oh, here it is. Head to the basement Fuck. and grab the spine saw. Why did the prison convoy have to get into an accident? Yeah, that sucks, dude. Is this going to be exactly like the mortician's assistant where you go in like that little cellar? Oh, it is, dude. It's exactly like the mortician's assistant. Assist, assistant. Assistant. Also, is that a fuck shack? What is that? Oh. I'll take this off. I was going to say, oh, there's a lock, but I forgot. I literally just grabbed the key. Oh, Red Pete's going to be down here, dude. Fuck. It's jammed. Doesn't anyone do maintenance around here? Damn hatch. Damn red Pete. Never again, if only. <sighs> That's not fucking horrifying at all. <sighs> what? Did it just look at me? It okay, would bye. Be easier if I put things away properly. Yeah, you really should, man, because you don't want things looking at you. Also, this. Ugh, damn student lectures and their fucking props. Is this really appropriate? If, if it rains tonight, I'm just saying, probably not a good idea. And like clockwork, he's already Thanks, sleeping. buddy. This guy's just sleeping on the job, huh? Sorry for the short interruption. I Sorry about that. I took the opportunity to grab some Time coffee. to cut your limbs and off. now that I have everything I need, I'll move on to the on this spinal cord. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Like, all right, I'm just going to cut your spine out real quick to see what the problem is. Ew, dude. A. A in space bar. What? What am I playing guitar here all of a sudden? Oh my god, dude. You don't have to be so aggressive with it. The spine is removed. Hmm, I see the problem. She doesn't have a spine anymore. Hanging didn't negatively affect the condition of the deceased. Ladies and gentlemen, almost over. Yeah, it was an overdose. I just remember I called that from the beginning, dude. Autograph, and we can start sewing. That was fun. You know, what a productive day. A lot happened today, you know? I forgot a lot of things. I'm relearning the controls. It's a little hectic. Some scary stuff happened. Red uh, Pete got away. A nightcap will do me good. But you know what I didn't forget? About that chocolate chocolate chip muffin. Choco choco chip. Maybe later. Oh, come on. Good night, Mr. Ridley. No, he's At least awake. we'll pick up the body and accompanying documentation in the morning. Mm-hmm. Sure. His arm is not attached to his body. I'm just saying, he's a demon. Dude, Ridley's a fucking demon, man, okay? All right. Maybe three oh, things. I left the gloves on. Whiskey on the rocks when oh, I get ew, gross. No, no, dude. Oh, man. Ah, shit. I forgot the muffin. I didn't well, forget the muffin. Ridley will have a nice treat for the night. I didn't forget the muffin, dude. I wanted the muffin. I literally went back for the muffin, and he was like, oh, I'm too hungover for it. I call bullshit. Should we take the elevator up? If this is me in real life, I would not be taking the elevator because fuck elevators. Because imagine that door never opens again. It falls. There's no emergency button. No one ever finds it. You're just stuck in here with your piss and shit forever. And then you start starving to death. And what do you have to eat? Piss and shit. Not fun. All right, we're here. <laughs> I believe this. What? Oh, shit. What? what the oh, damn, fuck? dude. Red Pete broke in. But, but I, I, I locked it. I, I'm sure of it. Oh man, is my pizza still in the fridge? Well, I guess we'll find out next time, because that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and subscribe for new videos. You can click the bell if you want to get notified when I upload. I upload new videos every Friday. Should I play more Autopsy Simulator? I don't know. Honestly, it wasn't really that scary, but we're only an hour in the game. It's a four-hour game, apparently. I'm sure things get way more intense and horrifying as we go on. But yeah, this has been Frank, signing off. <laughs>